Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Code Box. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to create a user role management system with PHP and MySQL. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Code Box website. Link in the description box below. Let us start with the database. First, to address the elephant in the room. A roles table to store the roles in the system. Role ID, primary key and auto increment. Role name, the name of the role. For this example, we will introduce two roles. Manager and Supervisor. Next, a table to store the actions that require permission. Permission ID, primary key and auto increment. Module code, indexed. This is up to you to decide. For example, USR for user and INV for inventory. Description, a summary of the permission. For this example, we will introduce three permissions. Get user, save user, and delete user. Now to tie the roles and permissions together. Role ID, primary and foreign key. Permission ID, primary and foreign key. For this example, we will grant managers permissions to get, save, and delete users. And supervisors can only get users. Lastly, the users table. User ID, primary key and auto increment. User email, set to unique to prevent duplicates. User password. Role ID, foreign key. For this example, we will create two users. Joe, a manager. And John, a supervisor. With the database in place, we can now work on the PHP library. Start with an empty user class and object.
Define the database settings. In the class constructor, we will create a PDO object. This way, it will automatically connect to the database when new user is created. Vice versa in the destructor, we close the database connection. Then, add a helper function that will run SQL queries. The basic foundations are complete, let us now add a login function. First, get the user enroll with a good old select join query. Verify the password. In this example, we will do a simple string compare. But in your own project, it is best to encrypt the passwords. Then, fetch the role permissions. This will be attached in the format of module, and an array of permission IDs. Start and set the user into the session. Of course, we will unset the password for security. With that, let us now log in as Joe. As intended, the user session variable now contains the IDs, email, and role. The permissions are also in the format of module code, permission IDs. Moving on, we will build the restricted functions to get, save, and delete users. To get a user, we simply do the same old select join. The save user function can either be add or update. If the user ID is not provided, we will insert a new user. Else, update the specified user ID. Removing a user is straightforward, just a delete SQL query. With that, let us secure the restricted functions. Add a check function. Make sure that the user is logged in. Then, check against the session for the given module and action. Return true if the user has access permission. Return false if not. Before running the restricted functions, we simply do a permission check. Forget users, permission ID 1. For save users, permission ID 2. And for delete users, permission ID 3.
At this stage, the system is already complete. All that's left is to do some testing. Let us log in as John first. John is a supervisor, and only has permission to get users. There should be no problems with getting a user. Next, to add a new user. Since John does not have permission to save users, the function did not run as expected. Lastly, to delete a user. Also as expected, the function did not run as John does not have permission. Let us now switch over to Joe. Joe is a manager with full access rights. Create a new account for Joy. Verify the database entry. Delete Joy's account. Verify that it is deleted from the database. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.